Now we'll be talking about the ingredients of a pizza. I have Amanda here. She's my first sous chef for the day, and Amanda really loves cooking. Amanda, tell me, what are the components of a good pizza? The crust, the cheeses, the toppings, and the sauce. Good job, that's right. Now let's talk about cheese. Tell me, where does cheese come from? Cows, goats, sheep, and buffalo. That's right. The cheese we'll be using, and you probably use at home every day, will be from cows. Generally, cheese making starts with acidification. Acidification is the lowering of pH, which in turn increases the acid content of the milk, making it more acidic. Usually, this process is performed by bacteria. Bacteria feed on the lactose in milk and produce lactic acid. With time, as more lactic acid is produced, the pH of the milk decreases. The lower the pH of a substance, the more acidic it is. Acid is very important to make good cheese. After acidification, coagulation begins. Coagulation is when milk is converted or changed into curds, which is the liquid portion, and whey, the solid portion. As the pH of the milk continues to change, the structural nature of casein, a protein found in milk, changes which causes the formation of these curds. There are hundreds of cheeses made worldwide, depending on the type of animal the milk came from and the pasteurization process. I know what that is. The pasteurization process is the heating of milk to a certain temperature that kills the bad bacteria that can make us sick, right? Yes, and the type of bacteria used in the mold to age the cheese. Oh, that's the good bacteria. You're right. These bacteria are the bacteria that gives cheese its very distinct flavor and its unique texture that we all like. Cheese is a good source of calcium, which helps build strong bones and teeth, and also prevents osteoporosis, a bone disease mainly occurring in women. Cheese contains a high concentration of essential nutrients such as phosphorus, zinc, vitamin A, riboflavin, vitamin B12, and high quality proteins which are all good for your skin, keeping you healthy, and having energy to perform your daily activities. Also, some studies claim to show that cheddar, mozzarella, Swiss, and American cheeses can help prevent tooth decay. I would say that's due to the amount of fluoride that cheese contains. Research has shown that eating three servings of dairy product each day, such as low-fat milk and non-fat yogurt, can contribute in weight loss. Oh, so eating cheese really can be good for you. 